Gus Castellanos, retired neurologist and mindfulness instructor, has practiced mindfulness for 23 years and has taught it for 12. Gus is certified to teach mindfulness-based stress reduction by the University of Massachusetts Center for Mindfulness and has facilitated hundreds of mindfulness programs and lectures to thousands of participants throughout South Florida. Currently, he offers mindfulness instruction virtually via Zoom and in person to the public, as well as to nurses, medical students, school teachers, social workers, and outreach specialists. Gus is an adjunct instructor at Nova Southeastern University, where he teaches mindfulness-based programs for students, staff, and faculty. Gus will now lead us through a brief, focused attention mindfulness practice. Thank you, Denise. I'm grateful to be part of Palm Health Foundation's Train the Brain campaign again this year, and to be leading this brief mindfulness practice before Dr. Jaw's presentation. And welcome, everyone. We appreciate you being here. This short practice is optional, so only if it feels right for you, I invite you to establish a comfortable seated position that is grounded on the seat you're on, upright but not uptight, and supports wakefulness. Allowing the eyes to close, or if you prefer, keeping them open, casting the gaze downward. And then when you're ready, noticing the breath moving in and out of your body without changing, controlling, or deepening your breathing. Allowing the breath to be in its natural, normal rhythm. Now finding where in your body you feel the breath most prominently right now. For most people, that is usually the belly or the nostrils, but for you, it may be the chest, the throat, or somewhere else. And if you're finding it challenging to attend to the breath, feel free to use another anchor point, such as the hands or the feet or the buttocks making contact with the chair you're on. Finding the anchor point that best supports your practice and bringing your attention to that part of the body. If you're noticing the mind wandering away from the breath or anchor point, know that this is common. It's not a failure. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just your mind doing what it does. Just gently and firmly bringing the attention back to the breath or anchor point, back to this moment. And if the mind has wandered away again, bringing the attention back again. And if necessary, again and again, keeping a friendly, non judgmental attitude all the while.
Every time the mind wanders away and you notice that distraction thought or feeling and return the attention back to the practice, you're strengthening your attention and mindfulness. So coming to the end of this short practice, lifting the gaze, opening the eyes if they've been closed, bringing your attention back to your environment and then back to our Zoom classroom. And thank you. Please enjoy Dr. Jaw's presentation. Thank you.